ACB Toys and Collectibles proudly presents Daughter and Daddy Toy Review. And if you can tell by the outfit, waiting for my letter from Hogwarts. What are we going to do today, honey? Hogwarts! Hogwarts, so we're doing Harry Potter stuff. Uh-huh. So we have got Hermione. Okay. Is this one the paper? This one's Buckbeak. Buckbeak. Hungarian Horntail. Fox? Fox. Dragon? Nope, that's a... A fox. A phoenix. A phoenix. And then the Harry Potter... A Gryffindor scarf. There you go. You know what we forgot? What? Your scissors. Oh, yeah. Yep, I'm gonna go grab them. Oh, we'll grab them. All right, we'll grab that. Whoa! Hi! Are we recording? Hi! So this is my Harry Potter garb too. Actually, this is Audrey's sorting hat, but my scarf because we already had scarves. But um, I think we're gonna upgrade to the new ones. What do you think? Uh huh. Yep. Yeah, okay. Um, so the cool thing about the Harry Potter toys here is that they're from Todd McFarlane Toys and Todd McFarlane got the license for Harry Potter and um, the original release where I did a video which had Harry, Ron, and Voldemort and for some reason Hermione was delayed but we finally got her. So Hermione was the last of the original release and then they had two additional releases which are the Buckbeak and the Hungarian Hortail which Audrey's going to open all three of them today. Right? Uh-huh. Right, perfect. All right, let's switch back to Audrey. Hermione first. All right, do you want me to move the others out of the way so you can see what you're doing, or? No. No? Nope. Okay. Now, just like Ron and Harry, she probably comes with her own Patronus, right? What's her Patronus? Show it. Yes, but it's hard to figure out what it is. Hard to figure out what it is. Hmm. What was hers in the movie? I don't know. I'm gonna pause it for a minute while Audrey's opening it. I'm not gonna pause it because Audrey just said something. What'd you say? Pretty cool. That's one of the things like uh, we actually, McFarlane also got the contract for DC and started doing DC toys. Um, and they all come with collectible cards and things like that. So all the McFarlane stuff sort of comes with extra little funky features. What is it? Is it an otter? That's yeah, Hermione's so Patronus. Pretty good detail that looks just like her from um, this is from uh, the final movie, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think it is. Yeah, because the first set all came from the Deathly Hallows, and then Buckbeak obviously is from was it movie th three, the third movie, when Hagrid takes over as the um, one of the teachers. And then the Hungarian horn tail is from the Triwizard Tournament. You can't get that one? All right, I'm gonna pause it and help Audrey out. Okay. How's it look? How's she look? Good. Good. So we got her with her wand in a display case. And the wand is bendable. There you go. The wand is like bendable. You can like bend. Okay. And it won't break. It's Good. Bendable. 
And her Patronus. Expecto Patronum! I think it's an otter. Yeah, it looks that way, right? Yeah. Which comes with its own display. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, so which, who do you want to open next? Buck. 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 Oh my goodness. Now, just so you know, obviously, as you can take a look at Buckbeak compared to Hermione, Buckbeak isn't sized so that, like, Harry can ride Buckbeak like Harry did in the movie, right? Yeah. Right, we're getting a phone call, so I'm going to pause it for a second. Legs move and his feet move a little bit, then his head moves and his wings move, and then his back feet move to his body moves a little bit. Okay. Body moves. And then his tail moves. And if you don't want these paws, you it comes with a change so you can get these paws. All right, so these look like they're open, whereas those are closed, right? So this would be more if he was walking or standing, if you wanted to have him stand without being on the display stand. Yeah. And those if you wanted to make it look like he's flying and have him on the display stand. Are right? you You like them? And again, just to point out, obviously Buckbeak is not to scale to Hermione. I was kind of hoping they would be. But, um, but Buckbeak is, and the Hungarian Horntail, they're, they're smaller size than the action figures. But as Audrey showed you, they have good articulation, right? And the detail is amazing, isn't it? Uh-huh. Yeah. Hungarian horntail time? Mm -hmm. Do you remember what the Hungarian horntail was from? No. Alright, so the Hungarian horntail was the dragon that Harry had to face in uh, the Goblet of Fire, right? Hey, that was. The Triwizard Tournament. I just got wind on my face because of this. Oh my goodness. Why does someone have that background? Mm, it's like you have a... Uh... An uh, article from the Quibbler back here. Do you want to pause it while you're cutting them out? Yeah. Okay. All right. So he's technically the same as little Buckbeak. Buckbeak. Just um, be careful of his the horns on his tails. Because they're really pokey and it just stabbed me and it hurt. Oh my goodness. I guess that's why he's a horn tail, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And hey, this. Hi, Chippy. Hi, Chippy. Mm -hmm. Chippy had uh, his own little Harry Potter scarf on earlier, didn't he? Yeah, because I put mine on him. <laughs> yep. Now, the horn tail also comes with the egg that Harry's going after. And if you see, there's two little holes right here in the display base. And 
on the back of his feet. You could actually have him be flying like we have him now. Or you, you could, could put just him have down. put the little thing in there. Right, so you could be standing on the base itself and you could just take the pole off, which is easy enough to just lift up. Oh, well, that's an easy one handed. Hold on. Let me see if I can juggle this. Boop. See? There we go. So you could just take the pole off and put him down by there. Should I show him the feet on the base? No, you just you want him flying, right? All right. Uh, so his pose is down, like the, the neck doesn't have his head go up very well, so when he's flying, so he's looking down. But um, you can still see the detail of him here. And his arms can move up and down, so you can have that however you want it. And the tail moves up and down, and the feet. I said it was like Buckby. Like Buckby. I'm just trying to show the articulation of him as well. So, all right, so that's what we opened so far. We got the Hungarian horn tail. We got Buckbeak and Hermione. And Audrey said she wants to take a break. So we're going to take a break before we do Fox and... Yeah, we're going to do part two later. We'll do a part two later. All right, and the scarf. Sound good? All right, so for part one of our Harry Potter update, we're signing off. Say bye-bye. Oh, where can you get everything? A, C, B, Toys, Collectibles, www.thexualtoys.com. Perfect. A, C, B, I'm going to mix up. That's right. www.acbtoyscollectibles.com. Perfect. And we have all these items in stock right now, including the ones we didn't open yet. Um, Chippy is not in stock for sale, though, right? <laughs> we, we, we want to keep our Chippy. Yeah, just kidding. That's right. But he's all over the floor, Daddy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he is 14. No, in dog is he's 98. Oh my god. There you go. All right. Miss grandma. That's true. He does miss his grandma. Yeah. Our grandma. Um, so if you want to order these, feel free to go to acbtoyscollectibles.com to order them. And that's it. So if you like this video, what do you do? Perfect. All right. That's Audrey's part of this. So, all right. And we'll see you later for part two. Bye-bye.